Green Skater fans, I'm Brian Montgomery, joined today by juniors Andrea Brush and Michaela Pope of the Gator women's tennis squad, just picking up a huge 5-4 to four win over Kenyon College, the first win for the program since the 1984-85 season. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, congratulations on the big win on Sunday. Oh, thank you. So a big part of it was the fact that the Gators had a 2-1 lead after doubles. Uh, you guys were playing a second flight. You picked up a 2-0 record, picking up a win earlier on the weekend against Denison. That momentum that you established through that doubles play, just take us through that match. Um, it was it was a great match for us, actually. Um, very big confidence booster. We were at one all, and going in, being up in doubles is a really big, big help for everyone. And that's what we, in our huddle before the match, that's what we were talking about, just being aggressive and um, trying to be very, very uh, potent at the net. Uh, so, you know, 2 1 lead in doubles. Kenny comes out and wins the first three matches at singles to get themselves to the point of clinching the match. Uh, it was the two of you left on the court along with. Uh, classmate Sloan Prince, she was the first one off to bring the Gators to within one. Michaela, you tied it, then Andrea, you won it. I guess first we'll start with your match, Michaela. 6-4, six, 6-4, four, six, four, a really close-knit battle between uh, the two of you. What was the edge that helped you kind of go ahead? Um, it was definitely support of our teammates. Um, when you're on the court, you don't really realize. I mean, you know what's happening, but you don't realize how close you are. You're very focused in on what you're doing. And so I just knew that the longer we brought out the match, the better chance we had. And so everything was taken slow. I was taking deep breaths, walking places. So um, it was it was uh, very helpful when Sloan won, though. It was a, it's a big motivator when your teammates win. And, and, and we know the match score. Like, we know what's happening. And um, when Sloan won and then when Michaela won her match, like, I immediately went up in my third set. Like, that was huge momentum for me, too. So watching teammates do well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you mentioned that uh, Andrea going uh, down in the first set, but coming back and picking up second and third set win. That final point when you knew that it was over, when you knew that you picked up that, that huge win against uh, definitely one, one of the bigger programs and one of the more respected programs in the conference in Kenyon. Uh, that must have been a great feeling uh, for the team. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was unbelievable. <laughs> we, were scre we were so loud. It's the loudest we've ever yeah. been. It was, it was the best feeling we've, I've had so far yeah. in my college experience. Yeah. So now you take you take this momentum established from the Kenyan uh, from the Kenyan match, and then you move ahead to, the, to another busy week. You started off a uh, non-conference contest against Grove City, and then another slate of NCAC matches between Worcester and Oberlin, kind of the final tune-up uh, before the NCAC tournament in a couple of weeks. How do you use this moving ahead? I mean, there's so much momentum gained from such a historic win. How are you planning on channeling this heading into the week? Honestly, this is just a huge confidence boost. We've been working all season to get to this. All right, well, Andrew McKayla, thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations again. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Gator fans, be sure to keep it locked in to AlleghenyGators.com for all of your up-to-date Gators info.